every path and every uh, mistake and up and down and in between in my entire life. I feel like it's already been, you know, planned out for me. Begin tonight with breaking news. Naya Rivera, a former star on the hit TV show Glee, is missing tonight in a Ventura County lake, and she is presumed drowned. Helicopters, divers, and drones have been searching for her in Lake Piru. It's in the Los Padres National Forest in Ventura County. On July 8, 2020, actress Naya Rivera rented a boat at Lake Piru, located 56 miles from Los Angeles County, for an afternoon of swimming with her four-year-old son, Josie Darcy. According to lake officials, this wasn't Rivera's first time visiting the reservoir. As seen on CCTV footage at around 1 p.m., the parking lot of the Juan Fernandez boat ramp connected to Lake Piru's north end sits almost completely empty. Rivera reportedly rents a pontoon boat around 1 p.m. to spend the afternoon swimming with her toddler son. The boat Rivera rented is a low-power boat meant for a slow, leisure day out on the water. Lake Piru is a 1,200-acre reservoir with a 12-mile circumference that holds deep columns of chilly water that can easily overwhelm or disorient swimmers, making this body of man-made water as potential as hazardous as the ocean. Depending on what side of the lake you are on, the water's depth ranges from 3 feet to as deep as 50 feet, with lots of debris and poor visibility, making the reservoir difficult to navigate. Hours before her disappearance, Rivera posted a sentimental picture to her Instagram with her 4-year-old son Josie Darcy aboard the boat with the caption, Just the two of us, while venturing out on the choppy waters of Lake Piru. At this point, about 3 hours have passed and Rivera's rental boat is now past due when a boat store employee eventually spots Rivera's boat at around 4 p.m. The boat is drifting aimlessly on the north side of the lake, which prompts the staff at the lake's concession stand to search the aforementioned rental boat. While searching, they find Rivera's son sleeping aboard, and lake officials immediately begin a search for Rivera using an aerial survey and a dive team. Authorities arrive shortly before 5 p.m. on Wednesday at the Southern California Lake, with Josie telling cops his mother had, quote, jumped into the water and didn't come back up. According to various news outlets and statements for the Ventura County Sheriff's Office, the lake will remain closed as the search efforts continue. Officials on Thursday described it as a recovery operation, and Deputy Chris Dyer confirmed that Rivera is now presumed dead. Officials believe Rivera may have potentially drowned since an adult-sized life jacket was found on board the boat. According to the news outlet Mirror Online, Rivera jumped off the boat and never resurfaced. When her son was discovered, he was wearing a child's life-size jacket, and next to him was an adult-sized life jacket. This led authorities to assume Rivera went swimming without wearing her recommended safety device, a decision with potentially fatal consequences when it comes to treading the unpredictable water of Lake Piru. There is no evidence of foul play at this point, Captain Eric Bouchard, the Ventura County Sheriff's Office, told reporters at the scene. This may well be a case of drowning. Dangerous conditions prompted authorities to temporarily suspend the operation searching at around 10 p.m. on Wednesday evening. Deputy Chris Dyer says, We're talking 8 to 10 inches of visibility in the lake, lots of debris, full-size trees, and lots of uneven terrain under the water. Someone will come to the beach, maybe swim out a little, step into a deeper hole, or get picked up in a rip current, and they begin to panic. The search resumed early Thursday morning, and hours later, authorities announced that it had transitioned to a recovery operation. The lake's conditions worsened throughout the course of the day as winds pick up sporadically. You can tell the waters get choppier as the day goes on, describing the lake's unpredictable conditions. Dyer also says Rivera could be anywhere in the murky, dark water saying when the sun goes down, there's zero visibility in the water and it's extremely dangerous for our searchers to be in the area. Authorities have so far focused their search on the north side of the lake where the boy was found. A dive team from San Luis Obispo County prepared to head out midday and another from Tulare County were reportedly in transit to assist with the recovery operation. Until Rivera's body is recovered, search efforts are scheduled until sunset, authorities confirm. Ventura County Sheriff's Department claimed that Rivera had been to the lake before, though her swimming ability is not known. She had left her life jacket behind on the rental vessel, which had since been recovered as authorities searched for the missing actress. Although Lake Piru is an incredibly popular destination for Los Angeles residents, it doesn't seem to be the safest place for outdoor recreation. There are generally several lifeguards on duty as well as rangers, but the current can be unusually strong, making it difficult for experienced and non-experienced swimmers alike. In 2000, park officials determined that strong winds, chilly waters, and unpredictable depth is often to blame for drowning swimmers. They also noted that a vast majority of drowning victims had been swimming in restricted waters. The cool temperatures, large waves, and whip currents can all work in conjunction to rob even the strongest swimmer of their energy. Strong winds on Lake Piru also often whip up waves that can rock a small boat enough to tip an unsteady fisherman into the water. Most of those who died are inexperienced swimmers who are not wearing life jackets or who overestimate their own swimming capabilities and decide to swim in prohibited areas. 
According to the Los Angeles Times, about seven people drowned in the lake between 1994 and 2000. Douglas West, Lake Piru's former Parks and Recreation Services manager, said there had actually been over a dozen drownings during his 23 years of service. Most were inexperienced swimmers who were not wearing life jackets and were overconfident about their ability to navigate restricted areas of the water. He's quoted saying, The only thing I can emphasize is that if swimmers are around water, they need to wear a personal flotation device whether they know how to swim or not. That will help save their lives. The list of drowning victims involved are 27-year-old Jesus Danilo Carranza from North Hollywood, who drowned while on an outing with his family despite wearing a life jacket. The Borio Dominguez from Long Beach also drowned while trying to rescue his daughter. The young girl was saved, but Dominguez's body was not discovered until several days later. In more recent years, Naftoli Smolvyansky died in a boating accident in August of 2008. Smolvyansky had taken his 9-year-old son and 5- and 7-year-old daughters out on the lake Monday afternoon while his youngest daughter fell off the boat. He jumped into the water to save her and managed to get her back on the boat as it drifted away. Smolvyansky was unable to swim back to the boat himself and did not resurface. And finally, 36-year-old Roberto Barrios was celebrating his graduation from nursing school with a group of around two dozen people when he went for a swim off of their rented boat. He had been swimming for about five minutes when the wind started pushing the boat away from him and two friends. People on a nearby boat rescued the two other people, but those on the pontoon boat couldn't get close enough to rescue Barrios before he disappeared under the water. A few days later, a Ventura County Sheriff's Dive Team found Barrios at the bottom of the lake. Ventura County Sheriff Sergeant Kevin Donahue compared the search for the Glee actress as looking for a needle in a haystack. Drowning was the top reported cause of death in about 79% of all boating fatalities, and of those who drowned, 86% were reportedly not wearing life jackets. Donahue says they found an adult-sized life jacket on board the boat, but they weren't confident if it belonged to Rivera or if it was an extra vest. The 33-year-old actress grew up in Los Angeles County and first began acting as a child. Rivera is best known for her breakout role in the television musical comedy Glee, which aired on Fox from 2009 until 2015. Rivera appeared in 113 episodes of the series and achieved success as both an author and mother following her run on the show. She married actor Ryan Dorsey in 2014, and they had a son Josie Dorsey in September of 2015. The couple divorced in 2018, and currently Josie is staying with his father and extended family until the missing 33-year-old actress and singer is located. On Monday, July 13, 2020, at 2.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Sheriff Bill Ayub announced they're confident the body discovered in Lake Piru belongs to 33-year-old actress Naya Rivera. There is currently no evidence to indicate any foul play took place in her drowning or that she died by suicide. This is being considered an official accidental drowning death. Sheriff Ayub says Rivera was discovered in the northeast portion of the lake near the surface of the water. Her body will be taken to the Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office for an autopsy and positive identification. The sheriff also says investigators used FaceTime calls Naya had with family members to help focus their search, along with speaking to other people who rented boats the day she went missing and saw her on the water. Sheriff Ayub confirms based on a conversation with Naya's son, the two went for a swim and she was able to boost him back on the boat, but when he turned around, she disappeared below the surface. The current was very strong the day Naya went missing and Ayub says it may have contributed to her drowning. He says her boat was not anchored when she went for a swim with her son. The most eerie coincidence is that her body was discovered exactly seven years to the day after the death of Glee co-star Corey Monteith, who died of an overdose in 2013. Naya is survived by her four-year-old son Josie Darcy, and at the time of recording this video, Naya Rivera was just 33 years old at the time of her accidental death and drowning.